फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स सर एसैक न्यूटन वॉज एन इंग्लिश फिजिस्ट एंड मैथमेटिशियन एंड अ जीनियस विद फ्यू इक्वल्स He put forward three laws of motion in 1686. These laws are known as Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law of motion gives a precise definition of inertia and force. Newton's first law of motion states that everybody continues to be in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless it is compelled by some external force to change that state. For example, a person standing in a bus falls backward when bus starts moving suddenly. This happens because the person and bus both are in state of rest while bus is not moving. But as the bus starts moving the legs of the person starts moving along with the bus but rest portion of his body has tendency to remain in rest because of this person falls backward if he is not alert law of inertia dear students the inherent property of a body by virtue of which it resists any change in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line on its own is called its inertia galileo was the first to establish that no force is required to keep a body moving uniformly along a straight line force is required for changing the state or direction of motion of the body We know that it is easier to move a small and light object like a child's toy car than a large and heavy trolley. Thus a large and heavy trolley shows a greater resistance to change its state of rest or of uniform motion than a small and lighter object. Therefore we can say that more the mass more is the inertia and lesser the mass lesser is the inertia of a body demonstration of the property of inertia take an empty and dry glass tumbler place a square piece of thick smooth card over the mouth of a glass place a coin at the center of the card now flick the card horizontally striking it hard with your finger the card piece flies away and the coin falls into the glass Newton's second law of motion Dear students Sir Isaac Newton was an English physicist and mathematician and a genius with few equals He put forward three laws of motion in 1686 These laws are known as Newton's laws of motion Newton's second law of motion states that the force acting on the body is directly proportional to the mass of the body and acceleration produced in the body in the direction of the force applied. F is equal to m into a where f is the force m is mass a is acceleration. Units of force The SI unit of force is Newton. Newton is defined as the force acting on the body of mass 1 kg producing an acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Unit is equal to kg meter upon second square or Newton. Mathematical formulation of Newton's second law of motion. Dear students Sir Isaac Newton was an English physicist and mathematician and a genius with few equals he put forward three laws of motion in 1686 these laws are known as Newton's laws of motion the change of momentum of an object is proportional to the applied unbalanced force in direction of force Let the initial momentum be P1 is equal to mu. 
let the final momentum be P2 is equal to mv. The change in momentum is is equal to P2 minus P1 is equal to mv minus mu. Rate of change of momentum is m into v minus u upon t. Force is equal to k into m into v minus u upon t. Force is equal to kma, where k is the proportionality constant. Application of second law of motion Dear students, Sir Isaac Newton was an English physicist and mathematician and a genius with a few equals. He put forward three laws of motion in 1686. These laws are known as Newton's laws of motion. Cricket player lowers his hands along with the ball to catch it because the acceleration of the ball gets reduced and hence overall smaller force is applied to stop the ball and no injury is caused to the hands of the player. Newton's third law of motion Dear students, Sir Isaac Newton was an English physicist and mathematician and a genius with few equals. He put forward three laws of motion in 1686. These laws are known as Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law of motion gives a precise definition of inertia and force. Whenever one body exerts a force on another body, the second body exerts an equal and opposite force on the first body. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. Example 1. As the rocket's jets push it upward, gravity pushes the rocket down to earth. Momentum Dear students, the concept of linear momentum is extremely important in physics. Whenever we examine a moving object, we must consider both its mass and velocity. The force needed to stop a moving body is directly proportional to its mass and its velocity. This gives us the term known as momentum. The linear momentum of a body of mass m traveling with velocity v is defined as the product of its mass and velocity. Thus, linear momentum p implies is equal to mv implies. Since mass is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity, their product that is momentum is a vector quantity. The direction of momentum is the direction of velocity. SI unit of momentum. The SI unit of mass is kg and the SI unit of velocity is meter per second. So, the SI unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second, which is written as kg m s raised to the power minus 1 or kg m upon s. Law of Conservation of Momentum Dear students, the concept of linear momentum is extremely popular in physics. Whenever we examine a moving object, we must consider both its mass and velocity. The force needed to stop a moving body is directly proportional to its mass and its velocity. When two or more bodies act upon each other, their total momentum remains constant. When no external force exerts on it, is called law of conservation of momentum. Momentum is never created or destroyed. It is also called principle of conservation of momentum. Principle of conservation of momentum. Let two objects of mass 
एम ए एंड एम बी ट्रेवलिंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन हैव इनिशियल बिलोसिटीज एज यू ए एंड यू बी रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड देयर फाइनल बिलोसिटीज बी वी ए एंड वी बी रिस्पेक्टिवली द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ बॉल ए विल बी एफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू एम ए इन टू वी ए माइनस यू ए अपॉन टी द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ बॉल बी विल बी एफ बी ए इज इक्वल टू एम बी इन टू वी बी माइनस यू बी अपॉन टी अकॉर्डिंग टू द थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एवरी एक्शन हैज इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रिएक्शन हेंस द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड वेन बोथ ऑब्जेक्ट गेट कोलाइडेड इज एफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस एफ बी ए On solving, we have M A U A plus M B U B is equal to M A V A plus M B V B, where M A U A plus M B U B is the total momentum before collision, and M A V A plus M B V B is the total momentum after collision. The sum of the momenta of the two objects before collision is equal to the sum of the momenta after collision. Application of law of conservation of momentum. Dear students, the concept of linear momentum is extremely important in physics. Whenever we examine a moving object, we must consider both its mass and velocity the force needed to stop a moving body is directly proportional to its mass and its velocity this gives us the term known as momentum application of law of conservation of momentum man and boat When a man in a boat near a river bank is at rest the total momentum of the boat and the man is zero When the man jumps from the boat the boat slightly moves away from the shore this is because when the man jumps from the boat he gains velocity According to the law of conservation of momentum the momentum of the system man and boat after jump by the man should remain zero to conserve momentum the momentum of the boat should be equal and opposite to that of the man this is possible only if the boat moves in the opposite direction hence the boat is pushed behind